Leeds, scrum advantage, still looking advantage, advantage over. Um, that's a difficult question. Uh, there's been plenty of uh, good players we've played with. Um, I'd probably, for, for a guy that can do something that I'd say no one else I've ever played with can do, um, and I think a few guys would agree, and that's Josh Kay. He could beat someone inside a phone box. He only needs half a yard of space, and he's gone. And he's the quickest guy I've ever played with, and someone who I'd hate to play against. So glad they only played with him. There's been a few. Um, the game when we got promoted, whenever that, I can't remember what year it was, when we yeah. got promoted up to this league, um, it was a home game against Lydney. It wasn't like an epic game or anything, but just the celebrations afterwards and things like that uh, made it memorable. Um, and on a personal note, games where I've done well individually, like when I scored a hat trick at um, Leeds, but we lost in that game and then. Um, scored a decent try recently against Worcester, but again we lost in that game. Had a bit of a shock with the boot as well, so um, it's hard to. But I can't really pick. I can I wouldn't be able to pick out just a single game. Keep moving, three. Thank you. No, Nottingham's always where I've wanted to stay. Like a when I was, you know, going up through the age groups and that, and then when I got 18 and I chose to go to Loughborough University because I knew it'd be close enough so I could come back and play. Um, and so, you know, I've always always wanted to stick around and you know, quite settled here and everything. So Um, well, I'm not sure. I don't. I haven't. I haven't completely decided on what I want to do. Because obviously, after rugby, I've done a PG and I'm a qualified teacher as well in science. Um, so I've got a couple of options um, available, depending on what happens. I think it was uh, in the circumstances that we, you know, we come off the back of four defeats, and uh, we needed to put a good win and a good performance. Um, down so that you know because people are starting to question like you know the skill level and how good we were as a team and things and I think we you know answered some of those questions um, obviously they're not one of the top teams in the league and it's the top teams we've struggled against um, in those losses that we've had and so we're st you know we're still working hard to to keep progressing and you know we've got a tough game away at Plymouth um, on Saturday so we'll uh, you know it's another stepping stone another chance for us to improve and we're just Quite keen to keep the momentum going and keep playing well. And um, how would you rate the season so far, um, uh, on the whole? Um, I think the season it's been, I think it's been good, in, and it's been really good in patches. And then we've obviously had the downtime as well. It's been it's been quite a roller coaster, really. The highs and the lows um, from one week to the next. Um, we're just trying to, you know, make sure we get a steady playing field where we can. You know, perform week in, week out at the level we want to, and not let things dip. Um, and hopefully, the second half of the season, now we can take take some good form into the playoffs, and it will put us in good stead. They're they're very well structured and disciplined. Um, they have a good defensive line. They've got a good set of forwards, and uh, they're a difficult team to break down. So we have to be patient, and uh, we have to you know take the ball through phases, keep the ball, and hopefully we can then start to attack in areas. Where we think we've found weaknesses. Uh, well, Jeff, um, there's there was a time uh, our last season at Island Avenue where I also had a mullet for the final game. Um, I'd grown my hair for the whole year and decided I wanted to have a mullet. It's a haircut that you know not many people have these days, um, and I'm an avid a believer that um, that. Uh, Styles, it, you know, they work in circles, they always come round, so there's only a matter of time before the mullet comes back and uh, 
a lot of people in Nottingham will know that I was the first one to bring that back. Jack Cobden at the beginning of the season, pre-season, had the idea that, um, and he has to take a little bit of credit for this to be fair, that he thought that um, the back line would look fantastic if we all had mullets and moustaches. Um, so this is obviously the look he's, he was waiting for November. Um, he's since gone to a rat's tail. Um, he's got it platter the back there. It looks, it looks quite nice actually. And then it gets things out of the way. But um, yeah, I think a few guys tried to um, you know, have a little play at it and have a little go. Tim Usas actually in the USA at the moment is going quite hard at that. He sent me a picture recently. We'll try and get that up on, uh, on Facebook for you to have a look at. Um, but yeah, most of them have died out now. Um, I'm feeling the strain, to be honest, a little bit every now and again. I start questioning the want. Do I still want to keep it? But um, at the moment, it's staying. <laughs> Um, well, first of all, I'd like to say mine has been graded top three okay. in the team, um, and uh, we wanted to know when you've got a bit, a fair bit of growth going there all over, and whether you were going to join us at any stage. We tempted. We tempted. Yeah. Uh, it's for um, prostate cancer, and um, the guys we're running, you know, it's all money all goes to prostate cancer, and we're trying to raise um, as much money as possible. I think the team so far has raised um, close to three hundred pounds. Um, well, we're having a bit of a competition individually, um, so everyone's got an individual sp uh, page on Movember.com and if you go to there and search a player's name you'll be able to find them and you can donate to them because we're going to have a prize for the guy that generates the most money, which at the moment is Phil Eggleshaw, um, that's taken to a side Stuart Green obviously, um, taking him out of the equation. But the reality is, um, you know, all the guys, I want to be up there. I want to be top and I've only got, I think, so far um, £20. And uh, I'm going to ask now for your uh, donations, please. Movember.com, search David Jackson, vote for this mo.